Hello everyone, I'm Luke Goss, the General Manager here at doTERRA Australia and New Zealand. We're excited that so many of you have joined us here tonight. Given the current circumstances here in Australia and New Zealand, it's likely you're one of the millions who are being challenged in every aspect of our lives by the impact of this pandemic. So, to show you our commitment to your wellbeing, we've got something exciting to share with you all. As part of our six-week Wellness Elevated Care Program and inspired by our wellbeing pillar of movement, we're giving you free access to a 45-minute restorative yin yoga practice with Sydney-based yogi and doTERRA diamond leader, Louise Kelly. So consider this our free class of wellbeing gift to you. We hope this session uh, revitalizes your spirit and creates time and space for you to shift your attention from the outside world and simply tune into you. So enough from me, I'm now going to hand you over to our beautiful Diamond Account Manager, Nicole Jones, who is going to share a little bit more about Louise. Thank you so much, Luke. I am super blessed to work with Lou um, every here, like on, a, on an ongoing basis. Beautiful Lou comes from a beautiful um, beachy studio in Monavale in New South Wales, like Luke said. Lou, Lou started her oils journey with a oil, a yoga student that shared three oils with her. She was tired dealing with toddler tantrums. The oils and the energy and the ability to calm was what blew her mind. Lou, your oil journey started then and it continues today. Um, thank you so much for tonight and I will hand it over to you. Enjoy and um, have a beautiful um, class. Thanks so much, Nick, for the beautiful introduction. Um, so I love to integrate essential oils into my yoga practice personally and also when I teach. So we're actually going to do that tonight. We're going to integrate them a lot. Now, if you don't have all of these oils at hand, that's totally fine. Um, you'll be able to get beautiful benefits of the practice anyway. But if you do have them to hand, the oils that we're focusing on in the movement pillar are... Grapefruit, lemon myrtle, lemongrass, ice blue, ice blue rub, and the yoga oils. And I've actually designed a class, so we're going to use all of them. <laughs> Normally in a yoga class, I'd probably theme around one, but um, I've created something pretty special and unique for tonight, which I'm excited about. Now, the first oil and the first shape we're going to use is actually ice blue rub. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to put a drop of this in your palms. And again, if you don't have this to hand, don't worry. We're gonna come onto our backs in a minute anyway. And you're just going to rub your palms together. You're gonna to bring them and cup them around your nose. Don't get it too near your eyes. Make a little scent tent. Take a few deep breaths. You're gonna come onto your back. So our first shape is what we call in the in butterfly pose. So you're gonna come onto your back, soles of your feet together, knees out wide, so they're like in a diamond shape. And you're gonna bring your arms nice and wide. You can have the backs of your palms on the floor, the arms and the, the forearms and the palms facing upwards. And then close down your eyes. If this is too much on your hips at any time, then just bring the soles of the feet together, have them quite wide and then allow the knees to fall in. So make yourself comfortable, okay? Stay just as you are here, arms out, and start to drop into your body. Imagine yourself falling down into the earth and imagine yourself being so supported and held. Now, wellness elevated is a gift to our beautiful doTERRA community. And I personally see yoga as a gift as well. And what it gives us is tools to use on our yoga mat, but also in our everyday life. And it gives us these tools to use at all different stages of our life. Whatever is happening around us, it really helps us to support ourselves and to support ourselves, not just physically, but also emotionally and spiritually as well. And so what I'd love you to do here is to simply breathe. If it helps you, you might like to bring a hand to your heart and a hand to your chest. And just start to do what we call in yoga, observing the breath. 
And what this means is we just watch it. We don't try to control it, not yet. We'll get to that later. We just breathe in and we breathe out. Simple, breathe in, breathe out. Using the ice blue here, because it's got peppermint in there, it's got camphor, lots of menthol, great for helping us to open our airways. It's also very strong smelling. So it's a really easy reminder to as soon as you smell that ice blue, it's telling you to breathe. So take deep breaths in through your nose. If you've had a really long week, you might like to exhale out of your mouth. Let's do two more like that together. Breathe into your nose. Breathe out of your mouth. Letting go of your week. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. And then can you notice here if one of your breaths, either your inhale or your exhale is longer than the other? Normally, we are naturally either an inhaler or an exhaler. So maybe explore. Maybe this is new to you. Let's see which one feels more natural. Which one feels more forced? Which one is longer? Which one is shorter? And we're gonna balance the breath because that can help to create balance in our body and in our mind here. So see if you can breathe in for one, two, three, four, and then breathe out for one, two, three, four. Breathe in for one, two, three, four, and breathe out for one, two, three, four. One more round like that in your own time, just bringing some equilibrium to the breath. And then let's see if we can exhale for a little bit longer. So take a deep breath in, two, three, four. Can you stretch out your exhale breath so it's longer? Maybe it gets to five, maybe six. And then breathe in again for four. And then out again for five or six. Not forcing the breath in any way, definitely not holding the breath, especially if anyone is pregnant, keeping that breath going. And what happens when we start to stretch out our exhale breath is our heart rate lowers, our cortisol levels lower, so we feel less stressed. Also, we're getting rid of anything that we don't need, getting rid of more waste gases. And it's helping to reset our nervous system. I think this is really beneficial at this time, giving us this simple tool, the breath, which we can take anywhere, which we can use anytime, and really giving us this tool to switch from just surviving or helping us to survive, but also so we can thrive. I'm just gonna take one more full breath in there and your long exhale. And then let go of controlling the breath, just allow it to go back to normal. And then we're gonna come into our next shape. Now for our next shape, you're gonna bring your hands to your knees, draw your knees in towards you. We're gonna make our way over to all fours. We're actually coming into child's pose. So if you have a yoga bolster or a block, you might like to lie over your yoga bolster or you can use a pillow or a cushion. Otherwise, you can also simply come down without any props. So I'm gonna do that today so you can see. So big toes are together. And then you've really got a choice. If you wanna get more into the hips, you can have the knees wide. If it feels more comfortable, then you can have more of a narrow-legged child's pose. Up to you today, yogi's choice. 
Now the oil we're gonna use here is anchor. So you're just gonna grab your anchor oil. Put a drop in your palm. Might even like to put, I like to put this one on my feet. Now remember this is pre-diluted so you can put it straight on. It's got coconut oil. So you're gonna swipe some there on the soles of your feet and then come down to your child's pose. Might even like to put the rest through your hair, use your hair as a diffuser, or you can rest your head onto your hands and you'll be able to smell the anchor here. And then simply breathe in and out. So yin yoga is a slower style of yoga. Generally, we hold the poses for three to five minutes. We want to really relax the head down. Sometimes tonight you'll see my head isn't completely down. This is just so that the sound is better for you guys. But if you're here in the pose, I'd really like to see your head. If I could see you. <laughs> Have your head right down so you really relax through your neck. So a slower style of yoga, and this teaches us to turn inwards. And you see in this physical shape, we're folding our body inwards. It's like our spine and our back is protecting our most vital organs. It's protecting the heart. It's protecting the lungs. And if you think when we go to protect ourselves, we put our arms in front. And then we're also anchored down to the earth here. So feel the tops of your feet on the ground, feel the front of your shins. And you might even have your forehead right down onto the earth, anchoring down like an anchor at the bottom of the ocean. And yoga teaches us and it gives us tools to move away from the busyness and the noisiness of the outside world and to start to shift inwards. And it's like we can discover this refuge within us. And this is also what our anchor oil does. Anchor is all about inviting us to accept that we actually have the power within us when life is asking us to accept radical changes that are going on. We don't always need to look externally for support. We can also turn inwards and we can anchor into what we've got within our own self. You might like to use an affirmation here. Your affirmation is, when I turn inwards, I find support and steadiness. When I turn inwards, I find support and steadiness. Softening your sitting bones down. Relaxing the forehead. When I turn inwards, I find support and steadiness. Take one more full breath in there. Long breath out. And then we're gonna come up. So this is the only pose we're gonna do, which is really off the ground. And you're gonna want your ice blue rub for this one. Now you can come to sit on a block or on a blanket or a cushion or a bolster, if you'd like to get the hips up a little bit higher just a little bit more supportive that way. And we're gonna release through our neck. Now the neck is often a place in our body where we feel some discomfort, some tension, some pain even. And Ice Blue Rub is incredible for this. So we're going to put this on. If you don't have it, that's fine. Don't worry. 
just breathe and I'll be with you shortly as we move into our next shape. So if you are putting this on, just put it around your neck. We're going to do a few poses to release through the neck. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Okay. Now, if you want a little bit more here to stretch down the left side, then you're going to move your left hand out to the side. Then if you want a little bit more, you can take your right hand up and over to your left ear. And then just watch that your shoulder doesn't sneak up. Bring your hand in if you need to help it drop down. And you can control the intensity of this. So if you want more, you can press your head into your hand and your head presses back. If you want less, then you can kind of hang out. So tune into your body. And this is another tool that our yoga practice gives us. It gives us the chance to listen. It gives us the chance to explore. So you might even like to tuck the chin in there and see, oh, how does that feel? Can I feel that in a different part of my neck? Is there tension there? Is there any pain? We don't want pain. So back off if you feel pain. Breathe into any tight spots. And use the practice to explore and to release some of this tension. You might even want to move your neck and your head gently. When we do this on the yoga mat, it increases our body awareness. And so that can also help our well-being because it prevents injuries. Because we notice the niggles, the twinges, and we do something about them before they turn into full-blown injuries. And we can also use the practice as well to release or to strengthen or to increase our flexibility, also decreasing the injuries. Take one more full breath in here into the side of your neck. Full breath out. Now do not move your head, please. Just take your right hand off and then push your head back to the center. And then bring your hands to your knees and shut down your eyes. And just tune into your shoulders. Can you feel the difference between the shoulder and the side of your neck that's been released and the side that hasn't? You might be able to feel warmth, blood rushing down, invigorating the tissues on this left side. Now we're gonna balance it up. So you're gonna bring your left arm up if you did that version and then tilt your ear. If you're not doing that and that was too strong, just tilt your left ear to your left shoulder. If you want to add on the extra stretching your right fingertips away, you can add that in. So a yoga practice is really accessible for everybody. We can adapt it. Whatever stage of life we're at, however our body is feeling on the day. Now, you might like to use an affirmation here, which is, I feel into any physical and emotional pain and allow myself to heal. And if any of you have the Emotions and Essential Oils book, my favorite essential oil reference, then this affirmation has been created from the information that that book gives on ice blue, on the ice blue blend. So the emotional properties of ice blue is all about feeling into any physical pain, noticing if there is actually some emotional pain at the bottom of it. Is there an emotional cause that's, that's causing a physical symptom? So is the root of it emotional? And then working through that in order to heal. Okay, you're gonna take three more breaths into this side. Perfect, now please keep your head where it is. 
bring your left fingertips to your left ear and push your head back to center. And you might feel this big release or flush going down that right side now. Bring your hands to your knees, close your eyes. Giving yourself the time and space to turn inwards. Watch. Observe. Perfect. Now, our next shape. We are gonna come into a heart opening pose. And we're gonna use our beautiful grapefruit oil here. Try not to knock your oils over. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna have your hips just behind your knees. So child's pose is like this. We're not going to child's pose. We want the hips much more forwards. Often that's something I see in classes. So you're gonna bring your hands forwards. You're gonna drop yourself down. If you want to use props here, you can. You don't really need them in this shape. So arms are stretching out forwards. You're dropping your head down. And then you're gonna use your grapefruit oil. Take a few breaths. And then just put the rest in a gym shirt and then drop down. So grapefruit is an oil of honoring the body. Stay just as you are, I'm gonna come up just slightly so you can hear me better. So a yin yoga practice particularly, it teaches us not to run away because we tend to hold these poses for longer. And so we have to sit in these poses, even if they're strong, and we can get into the connective tissue, more into the joints. So they teach us not to run away from sensation because you will be feeling sensation. But they, it teaches us to really sit with thoughts and with our feelings as well we're holding these poses for longer. It's a quieter, slower practice. And see if you can find the edge of the pose, except that there is a limit to how far we go. Teaching compassion. This one particularly opens up our heart chakra and our heart meridian. You might like to use the affirmation here, I am beautiful inside and out. I am beautiful inside and out. Remembering that sometimes affirmations, they're a little bit like doing shadow work. So they might highlight things that we need to work on. Some affirmations will feel really comfortable to you and then others, not so much. And that really highlights, oh, isn't that curious? That's where I need to do some work. I'm beautiful inside and out. Just take three more breaths here. And then we're gonna come forward. So just start to transfer your weight forwards. You're gonna release your legs out long, tops of the feet pressed down. And this is Sphinx pose. So keep your elbows underneath your shoulders, forearms are on the floor, palms, are uh, also connected to your yoga mat and spread your fingers nice and wide. You can also play with having the feet a little bit wider or closer. So be kind to your body. If it's too much on your lower back to have them close, have them a little bit wider. Also, if it's too much to push right down into the shoulders and to come up, because there will be some compression there in the lower back, 
then just come out a little bit. Just drop down slightly. Keep your gaze steady. And your affirmation here, still working with our grapefruit oil, is I love every cell of my body. I love every cell of my body. Sometimes in our yoga practice, we don't like what we find. If we're not able to do a certain pose or we find something challenging or intense emotions arise. But the practice is to breathe into it. The practice is to be compassionate towards ourself. I love every cell of my body. That is the practice. Take one more full breath in there, a long breath out. You're gonna push down through your elbows and just come back to child's pose. We're just gonna take three breaths here, just to neutralize the spine. Sitting bones drop down towards your heels. You might stack your hands and bring your head to rest onto them. Take the breath right into your lower back. And we're going to move on to lemongrass. And we're going to come into half pigeon. Now, half pigeon, we're going to bring the right knee behind your right wrist, and then the left leg comes out straight behind you. And then you're going to come down onto your elbows today. If you want to place a block underneath your right sitting bone or a towel or something, you can do that. If you have any knee issues, then please look after your knee. This is all about our well-being. We want to look after our body. So if there are any knee issues, then come onto your back. Bring your right foot on top of your left knee. And then bring your hands behind your left leg. If that's too much, just bring your left foot to the floor. Rest your hands down. And this is perfect. You're still getting into the area of the body, the hips that we are if we're doing the other version. Now our oil here is lemongrass. So you're gonna take your lemongrass and it's really up to you. You might put some in your hands, but what you can even do is just put the bottle here, just underneath you. And as you're coming down, you might even bring it on the inside of your forearms and have it there so it's just right under your nose and you can breathe it in. No need to apply it. Breathing that in. And this is really awesome because as soon as you smell that aroma, it's that reminder again to breathe. And in our hip poses, we want to breathe really nice and deeply. So our yin yoga practice is based on traditional Chinese medicine. A little bit like acupuncture, how that works with putting pins and needles in certain meridian points and points of your body to get energy um, moving more freely and to release any blocks. Same thing with our yin yoga practice. So it's really about opening up the body, stimulating the meridians, getting the energy flowing. And when we pair essential oils with this, the shifting of energy is even more potent and powerful. Now, the reason I've chosen lemongrass for this one is lemongrass is all about cleansing your energy. So your affirmation here is 
I cleanse my energy and let go of what no longer serves me. I cleanse my energy and let go of what no longer serves me. And I want you to know here, it's really normal when you come into hip poses, especially if you're newer to yoga, to feel frustrated or anger or negative emotions because we store a lot of that stuff, those trauma and those negative emotions in the hips. So then when we open the hips physically, these emotions can come up to the surface. So if you're feeling that right now, really use your breath. I cleanse my energy and let go of what no longer serves me. Nice. Now, from here, you can leave that bottle of lemongrass right there if it's there already and come straight over to half pigeon on your other side. So with your left leg, left knee coming behind your left wrist, extend your right leg out and then come back down to your elbows. Relax your head. And your affirmation here is my energy flows freely and smoothly. My energy flows freely and smoothly. What I'd love you to know on this side is that the hips can be really different on one side to the other. So if this is feeling really different to the other side, then know that that's really normal and really human. Our yoga practice gives us the gift of being more aware and noticing any imbalances between left and right. All right, you just got three more breaths here. My energy flows freely and smoothly. Okay, and then just put the top back on your lemongrass if you're using that. And then you're going to use your a firm, which is our centering blend. Now we're gonna use some of this on the heart space. So just put some onto the heart. Again, it's diluted, so you can do that. Now we're really gonna open up into the heart. So if you have a bolster, bring your bolster across your mat and you might use a block there. If you don't have a bolster, grab your towel or a blanket, roll it up and make like a sausage and put it across. If you have two blocks, you could also use two blocks because you could have one block in between your shoulder blades. Okay, so the idea of what we're doing is to elevate the heart. If actually, even if you have one block, bring it in between the shoulder blades like this. Then you're gonna bend your legs up Soles of the feet on the floor wide and then the knees are falling in. You're gonna bring your arms out. If you are using a bolster or a blanket or a towel, then again, bring it to the back. So where you would wear a heart rate monitor or where your bra is and then draping your spine over. You might want something under your head or you might not. So adapt, adapt the practice for you. And then you're just gonna close your eyes down and feel this sensation of the shoulders dropping away and the heart opening and expanding. So 
Our yin yoga practice is a form of active rest. And sometimes it gets called a moving meditation. It really gives us this space to reflect, to pause and to connect back with our heart. Really, it's about moving back to our center. And that's what this blend is all about. It's the centering blend. Coming back to our center, back to compassion, back to love. And so your affirmation here is, when I pause and reflect, I bring myself back into alignment. When I pause and reflect, I bring myself back into alignment. When I pause and reflect, I bring myself back into alignment. As you breathe here, notice the three dimensional state of the breath. Notice how the front of the body expands. Notice how the sides of the body expand. See if you can direct the breath right into the sides of the ribcage. Notice how in your next breath, you can take the breath into the back of the body. Three dimensional breathing into your center, belly, sides of the ribs, up into the chest. Take a few more rounds of breath like that, breathing down to the belly, sides of the ribs, up to the chest. And then out. Staying just as you are. Your affirmation, when I pause and reflect, I bring myself into alignment. Allowing yourself to pause here. A little bit longer in this shape. When I pause and reflect, I bring myself back into alignment. Take one more full breath in and a long breath out. And to come out of this one, roll to your side, use your hands to come up and just use, move any props you've got over to your left side because you're going to use them in a minute. And then you're going to get your lemon myrtle. 
And with your lemon myrtle, I'm gonna pop some of that into your hand. Rub them together. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. We're gonna do that again, but we're gonna do it in the shape. So I'm just gonna move around so you can see me better. We're gonna come into a twist. So to bring your props to your left side. So it might be a blanket, it might be a cushion or a pillow, it might be a bolster, it could be a block. I'll just use the block so it's a little easier for you to see me. So your left leg is gonna come out long. You're gonna bring your right knee up and then you're just gonna draw that right knee across your body you can shuffle your hips over to create a bit more space. And then you can bring your knee onto the block or to the cushion or the pillow or whatever you've got. Then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna bring your hands to your face and you're gonna breathe in that lemon myrtle. Really nice long exhale out of your mouth when you're doing this for your lemon myrtle. Nice, now stretch out your right hand and turn your head to look towards your right thumb. If this is too strong, then bring your knees not as far up and you can bring them together. So you still get a twist, but it's not as strong on your lower back. So look after yourself, that's what this class is all about. It's what the whole program is about, our six week program, Elevated Wellness. So adjust the poses as you need. So lemon myrtle, this is all about clearing any mental fog. It's one of my favorite oils at the moment. I diffuse it a lot in the morning with peppermint really cleansing. And so your affirmation here is my mind is clear, intentional and free. My mind is clear, intentional and free. Yoga gives us the tools to create more clarity. To guide us when we're feeling confused when our mind is cluttered or scattered. Lemon myrtle can do the same. This shape, this twist, twists in yoga all about detoxifying, releasing. So you'll feel how this shape really gets into the digestive system. It's rinsing everything out, squeezing out anything we don't need. Let's take one more full breath in there. Full breath out. And we're gonna simply twist over to the other side. So come back to center, take whatever prop you've got. And you're gonna to twist to the other side. So the other side, I'm just gonna come this way. Stretch your hand away. If you want to bring the hands back to the face, take three rounds of breath. Remember, long exhale, our exhale breath is all about releasing, cleansing. Use the exhale with the lemon myrtle. My mind is clear intentional and free. My mind is clear, intentional and free. I know I've given you a lot of information tonight. So hopefully your mind is still feeling clear, intentional and free. 
yoga, just like the oils, is very multifaceted. With the oils, you can dive into all sorts of different areas. You can dive into the emotions. You can dive into the chemistry and the science. You can dive into cooking with the oils. Yoga is similar, and I think that's perhaps why I'm drawn to both. In yoga, we have the eight limbs of yoga. Only one of them is the actual poses. Um, and so it's not just about movement. Of course, it's a big part of it. But it's also relevant to many of the other pillars in elevated wellness. So there's six. Nature. Yoga really is about coming back to earth and getting grounded. Honoring the seasons as well. Positivity. We've worked that in today with our affirmations. And also sleep. It's going to help you sleep better. Yoga is incredible for sleep, for relaxation, for restoring your nervous system. Community, connection. That's why we're all here. Purity can detox the body. The exhale detoxes the body. And the word union, or the word yoga, sorry, itself means union. It's all about connection bring everything in together. You're gonna to take one more full breath in where you are and a full breath out. And then you're going to come to lie on your back. Now, if you have a towel or a blanket or a bolster, then when you come to lie flat on your back, bring that so it's underneath your knees. It's just gonna give you more support to your lower back. You might like to turn down your light. You might like to, if you're listening to music, make sure it's on something really relaxing. If you're listening to the playlist I made, like choose one of the songs right at the end. And then lie down onto your back. Have your feet wide enough so they just are completely relaxed and they fall out to the sides. And then have your palms facing up. Oh, I nearly forgot. Our last oil here, sorry. <laughs> How could I forget it's Ascend? So with this one, you're going to bring this onto the temples and just swipe underneath the nose there. You might even like to bring some there just into the third eye chakra and then come back to lie. Closing the eyes down. Our final pose, this is Shavasana or relaxation. It's how we always end our yoga classes. And the affirmation here is my body, mind, and spirit unite. So I am able to ascend to my full potential. My body, mind, and spirit unite. So I am able to ascend to my full potential. So this is the most important pose. So try not to shoot off early. Staying with it, breathing. Find some stillness.
if you have the time, I highly encourage you to stay a little longer or a lot longer. You're all at home. Otherwise, start to bring some small movements into your hands and into your feet. And we're gonna slowly come up together and close our practice together as a community. So make your way to a cross-legged position. And then bring your arms up. And then gather all of that good energy into your heart. Using the gift of yoga tonight to remind us that when we look after our own health and well-being, both physically and mentally, it gives permission for others to do the same. And when we look after ourselves, that ripples out to our friends, to our family. And it keeps rippling out into the community and beyond. So when you look after your own health and well-being, you can make a huge difference. Namaste. Thanks for joining today. Thank you so much, Louise. Um, you're amazing and we are so grateful for you imparting your knowledge and, and gifting us your time today. So thank you so very, very much. I have no you're doubt welcome. feeling revitalised and relaxed. And um, we would also like to thank you all for joining our yin yoga class tonight. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all at our next free session on Wednesday evening. So stay strong and safe and most importantly, look after yourself and your families. See you guys soon.